Welcome back guys to another round of Go Battle League videos and in today's videos we're gonna be using an elemental uh, trio team you know the core three which is gonna be fire grass water and um, it's gonna be in the Sinnoh Cup we're gonna be leading with Shadow of Bombas Snow for these a few of these videos and then um, of course with this one it's gonna be your standard Shadow of Bombas Snow set I can't remember what the IV spread was on it but I do know that it does have like a really good like top 50 um, same thing for the Gastrodon. The Gastrodon that I'm using is going to have Water Pulse instead of Body Slam because I want to account for the fact that I might get switched into a Drift Limb. So if there's going to be a Drift Limb that, get, that comes in, I'm going to want to have Water Pulse ready for it so that it can do something besides, uh, you know, use charge moves and faint. That does like nothing but tickle damage to a Drift Limb. And uh, let's see, this one I believe has a number 2 IV spread. Yeah, rank 2 as far as its stat spread. And then finally we have uh, Infernape. Why did I choose Infernape? Because I just wanted to see how it actually plays out. Uh, let's see, with this Infernape it's going to have uh, its uh, Community Day set. With this one it's going to be Fire Spin, followed up by Blast Burn and Close Combat. It's mainly kind of a hit and run kind of Infernape. But yeah, with that, I believe this is also like in the top 10 as far as IV spreads. I've been sitting on it for a while without much of a chance to actually use it, then now that we're in the situation, I can finally put it to work, since it's in a meta they can do something in. But speaking of which, I'm mainly going to be focusing on Infernape in this battle as far as uh, what I want to give the attention to, because we already seen Obama Snow a million times. We're, we already know that Gastrodon's a staple in the league, so of course for Infernape we don't really get to see that much, so that's where it gets the spotlight. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and get into the action here. Obviously, it's been going on in the background. I've been doing a lot of narrating, but now we can, uh, as far as describing, but now we can actually do some narrating. Starting with the Obama Snow, going for a Weather Ball Ice, and of course, with this one, it's Rift Limp. It's kind of obvious. All I can really do is just survive here until and get through this, uh, get through these icy winds that are going to be coming through. Uh, Obama Snow is not going to shield this icy wind that it just took, and then we're just going to go ahead and farm up towards a Weather Ball Ice, and then use this to take out the Drift Blim, even though we have uh, one attack stat drop from what I can remember seeing. Uh, it's still going to be enough to take down the Drift Blim for the win. Alright, so yep, that's the first battle. Also guys, go ahead and feel free to please leave a like and subscribe, and also check out those affiliate links in the description below. How about by supporting the channel, by supporting yourself, see if there's any of those opportunities that intrigues you. Alright, back to the battles. It's going to be a Bomb Snow leading against a Napoleon. So with here, I just thought, oh crap, he has Drill Peck, and then I can try to do some shield baiting. But I'll probably lead with Energy Ball so that I can anticipate him not wanting to uh, shield because he might think that I'm going to shield bait with uh, Weather Ball Ice. And since I think that he's thinking I'm going to do that, I go for Energy Ball. And then he shields, and I'm just like, oh cool, I gotta remember that. Like, uh, this is like the ace rank league, so I need to actually just go ahead and charge towards that because people are going to think differently. Oh, anyway, um, since since I anticipate that he's going to be using Drill Pack, I went ahead and just switched into Gastrodon, Gastrodon to have Gastrodon pick that, and then um, they're going to go ahead and bring out their Gastrodon. I already kind of anticipated that that was going to happen because, again, like, would you keep your Empoleon in against a Gastrodon? It could basically get farmed down. So yeah, it's Gastrodon versus Gastrodon. I go straight for the Earth Power here because I felt like they weren't going to burn their shield, and I was correct. And then, of course, here they're going to be going for Body Slam. We already know, I kind of already expect that to happen. Oh no, we both took each other out. I think he has a Water Pulse and I was just trying to get to like either Water Pulse or Earth Power. Well, anyway, so here we are back to the Obama Snow versus Empoleon matchup. And I'm just like thinking, you know what, I'm just going to go for another Energy Ball because I don't think he's going to shield it twice. And he does shield it twice because again, I'm not doing any shield baiting whatsoever. But here they're going to go ahead and go for one more Drill Peck. And I'm just going to go ahead and shield that up. And then once we get through this drill peck, I believe I'm going to farm up a little bit of extra energy here. Let's see if I actually follow through. Yep, we we're going to go ahead and um, farm up just a little bit of extra energy because we didn't want to let the drill peck go through. Plus, we were going to resist waterfall damage. So if we fire off the energy ball, we get a head start on a weather ball ice just in case we can actually use it on this next opponent. But it's a Weavile. So Weavile versus Infernape, that's kind of easy. Uh, they're going to go for either Foul Play or Avalanche. Infernape's going to resist it, and then we're going to charge up towards either a Blast Burn or a Close Combat. 
think I went for the uh, close combat for just those extra style points, even though we could have farmed it down with one more fire spin. But again, we just went ahead and went for the close combat because, you know, seeing close combat in Go Battle League PvP is oh so glorious. So yep, there's another W. Alright, so now let's go ahead and move on to the next battle. It's going to be a Matteo Calipo. Interesting name. Alright, uh, let's see. We're going to lead with our Obama Snow. Look, we have been. And oh, look at that. It's a Driftblim lead. So they're going to switch out right away. Uh, this is kind of a cut and paste victory, I think. Um, yeah, we're going to bring in Gastrodon. Gastrodon's going to go ahead and farm down. And then after that, uh, but at the same time, Lucario is going to go for their power up punch. And then we can just go ahead and let it go through uh, because we're anticipating that. Bring its Gastrodon down to half health, and then we just continue the farm down. Obviously, they're going to follow up by bringing in Drift Blim. Gives their Drift a chance to farm up energy because now, like, uh, I'm at, like, uh, probably a little bit under half health. That's plenty of health to go ahead and get um, Drift Blim's energy max. So that's going to be an issue that I have to deal with. In the meantime, I can just keep spamming Water Pulse. Hopefully we can get a second Water Pulse and then put Drift Blim into a low health range before it takes us out. But instead, looks like they decide to just go ahead and use the energy that they have to take out my Gastrodon. Because if they let it go through, then they're just going to let another Water Pulse go through. And I'm pretty sure that's what they were worried about. So yeah, I bring in Obama Snow and then they're going to go ahead and bring out an Empoleon. And this is the part where I'm just like, oh, but they just kind of turned the tide based on what they picked. So I just go ahead and go for a close combat here. And then that's going to leave us room to just go ahead and force a shield. Get taken out here after a uh, waterfall. They're going to have a drill pack ready to go against my Obama Snow. So they're going to go ahead and fire that through. And we're just going to go ahead and shield that bad boy. Uh, after we shield this... Uh, we in this situation it cards it kind of gets a little sketchy like um, I think pretty much here I just farm up towards an energy ball we're gonna anticipate a drill pack here because I mean it's kind of the obvious choice it's cheaper between the if it's not cheaper it's about the same energy cost as like doing a hydro cannon plus it's super effective I guess my bomb snow so with that said, I already anticipate that they were going to shield my next move, so I just went ahead and went for the weather ball, the shield bait, and look at that, it went ahead and burned a shield, so that means that we have enough energy to fire off an energy ball before they can get to another drill peck, and then we're just going to go ahead and burn this thing down, and then now it's just a race to finish off this Ripley before they can Icy Wind. Can we pull it off? Oh, they got the Icy Wind. Oh, that sucks. Well, um, I'm pretty sure that's going to be enough to take out my Obama Snow. Yep, there it is. And then, good good game on, the, on their part. Again, that's my obligatory loss that I always want to share in every video. Especially that one. That's a crushing loss because we had the lead. But then we go, went ahead and lost it and gave it away. It's one of the cons of uh, Infernape is how classy it can be. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and switch because of the fact that that was like a not so favorable matchup. It was kind of even, but I think I just wanted to bring in Fernape just to burn down. They're going to go ahead and answer that switch from Frostlast into Lucario. Sorry, not Lucario. Toxic Croak. It almost looked like it for a moment, even though I need to pay attention to the logos and the upper the types in the upper right hand corner. But yeah, and of course, that was their answer to me switching from Obama Snow to Infernape. Toxic Croak's going to go for a Mud Bomb. I'm just going to go ahead and let Infernape go down and use that as a means to uh, bait out some other Pokemon. Gastrodon's going to go ahead and soak this move because it has a good chunk of health and then we can just go ahead and eat like a Mud Bomb. Yep, and it still has plenty of health. So down goes the Toxicroak. Uh, Gastrodon's sitting at half health. They're going to go ahead and answer back by bringing out the Frostlass and then we're just going to go ahead and go straight for an earth power after we shield because we have a fully charged earth power ready to go and we didn't want to waste that opportunity. Frostlass is going to go for the crunch here. We're going to answer back with an earth power and then hopefully they think that I have body slam and that they were going to shield bait here. Let's see if what they do. They go ahead and shield so we went ahead and bring out Obama Snow so that we can get a head start on farming. And then of course they answer back by bringing out Skunk Tank. I'm just like, oh cool, Skunk Tank, of course. So we're just going to go ahead and go for um, Weather Ball Spam. I think that's a Bite Skunk Tank though, let's see. Plus it's not Shadow. Yep, it has Bite. And then not only that, um, it's not Shadow. So 
Abomasnow is going to be able to tank the bites pretty well. And then after that, we're going to fire off a Weather Ball Ice to take out Skunk Tank. Now all that's left is to take out the Frost Last, but they're just going to go ahead and throw the match. All right, moving on to the next battle. Let's see what we're going to be up against. It's going to be Taylor Ska, a veteran. All right, bring it on, veteran Ska. Anyway, um, we're just going to go ahead and go up against a Togekiss matchup. That's kind of favorable on our side, so they're going to go ahead and switch out the Bastiodon. And then that means that we are going to chase that Bastiodon down with a Gastrodon. Gastrodon's going to be able to farm it all the way down and then max out its energy, nearly max out its energy by the time this Bastiodon's down. Of course, they're going to answer back by going for a Stone Edge because even though it's going to be resisted damage, it still has a stab bonus. So if you're to choose between the two moves, um, going for Flamethrower is nowhere near as smart as going for a Stone Edge, especially when you know your Bastiodon is going to go down. So we go ahead and max out our energy here. Uh, we know that Gastrodon is going to go down here, so we're just going to follow that up by spamming Water Pulse. So here comes the first one. Um, they go ahead and don't shield it because they were anticipating that. And then after that, we're just going to go ahead and go for the Earth Power, thinking that they think I'm going to go for another Water Pulse and shield it. Because we know that if we would try to go for the Water Pulse, it wouldn't, the, um, Gashadon wouldn't last. Um, that goes through. They don't shield it. We're going to go ahead and ab have a Bomb Snow come in. They're going to answer back by bringing out Toxicroak. So we're just going to go ahead and do an Infernate versus Toxicroak standoff. They're going to spam, spam Mud Bomb, but we don't need to worry too much about that here. Uh, they're going to go ahead and go for the Mud Bomb, uh, and Fred Ape's going to shield it. And then we're just going to continue to farm down here. Hopefully we can get them to uh, burn a shield here. Yep, here it goes. So we're going to go ahead and go for a Blast Burn here. Blast Burn goes through, and then they're going to go ahead and shield that. Again, pretty predictable. But now this puts us in a little bit of a weird spot because now we need to be able to survive this attack here and then farm down as much as we can. So Toxic Croak has a sliver of health left. We both have shields. We're anticipating that it was going to be a mud bomb, but then I shield last second to change my mind because I was like, nope, don't risk it. It's going to be a sludge bomb. He gets taken out and then now they have one shield left. We have two weather ball ices ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and fire off the first one. It connects against the Togekiss, and then Togekiss is going to shield, has a sliver of health left. And then we're going to go ahead and end it with Style by getting the uh, last Weather Ball Ice here. So here we go. Goes through. Down goes Togekiss, and then that's going to be another win. All right, but that's it for today's videos, guys. Thanks again for watching. Take care, and see you in the next one. Like, subscribe, and bye.